Hello and welcome to Channel Spot on Sunday. I am Ken Ochonogo. And I tell you, uh, uh, you remember those days when you say, now the day is over. Now the holiday is over. <laughs> because technically we've been on leave. We've been on leave. We've been on leave from football. Uh, it's not as if other sports went on leave. But then uh, uh, for us in this part of the world, it looks as if maybe uh, that is the king of sports. Also in, 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 in Europe, you know, so everyone has been taken by storm. Well, of course, we did have AFCON. Uh, uh, it was there just to whet our appetite. It was Copa America, uh, of course, fallout of which you remember uh, uh, Messi. Messi, you know, uh, <laughs> did say something. And right now, a decision has been taken over that. Of course, they're asking, guy, just rest for three months, you know. But then that three months is resting. Uh, it's like, I wish some people would say it's a slap on the wrist because tell me you are going to miss three matches, you are going to miss against Chile, Mexico, Argentina, and they are all friendly matches. What kind of ban is that? <laughs> what kind of ban? But they never need to play for Barcelona at this period. So basically, that is what somebody said. That is not my own opinion. So we look at that because the transfer season, transfer season um, in England that will be ending uh, by, by th on Thursday, on Thursday, 24 hours, 24, because it, it is kicking off on Friday. So by Thursday, it will end. Uh, but that is not what is going to happen in other parts of Europe. In Italy, I think it will be on the 23rd of August, while in other areas, Spain, Germany, uh, September 2nd. So transfer season is on. And also there is a, the issue of the biggest transfer of the season, uh, uh, you know, you know calf formally transferred into, into FIFA. You know, so the, the, the handing over was done. And FIFA took over CAF, you know, August 1st. I think that is arguably the biggest transfer, you know, <laughs> you can talk about in this season. But then in the clubs, it is also happening. Uh, uh, last time we talked about Arsenal with intent, yes. And then they, they, it was not us. They back it up with cash. Uh, Pepe is coming. And I hear also that, you know, after doing... Pepe has not come in. Pepe has signed. Uh, uh, but then, uh, uh, that is not just it. I think there is something also, a, a bigger story. We are heading for $27 million. They can have Coutinho on loan. So if they do that, I tell you this, it will be a force to break on with this threatening. People are saying, Asana, the way, the way they are building, it's like you have a beautiful edifice, but then the foundation, you know, uh, uh, maybe might not be able to carry it. You remember, you know, when you... So we'll, we'll, we'll look at it. Uh, uh, Manchester United, I mean, uh, they don't want to spend three years in Europa just like Arsenal are spending. So they are saying, okay, fine, they are paying 80 million and the rest of them all. Maybe that will push them out. But to what extent can that go? Uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of stories happening. Neymar will he come or will he not come? PSG, PSG is saying that, yes, uh, the way these things are going, guy, if you want to leave, you leave. But there, there, was, there was a, a, funny, there was a, a, funny, a funny a funny, video. There was a funny, a funny video. There was a funny video, you know, uh, 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 that, uh, that we saw during the week uh, uh, yesterday after uh, PSG defeated Reigns, uh, you know, uh, to, to win the trophy where Mbappe was telling, Mbappe was shifting the guy. Mbappe was shifting the guy and said, no way, you can't do this, you can't join us. So, you know, there, it, it was a lot of transfer talks. We're going to do a lot of transfer talk, um, not just there, but also in, a, we are in, in our own league, the MPFL, uh, the transfer season is also on. Uh, we don't know what is happening. We don't know what is happening to MFM. Uh, the prayer warriors, are they not praying enough? Suddenly there is like an exodus, you know, movement of the people. They are moving out. And somewhere in Akure, they are benefiting because the sun is actually shining in Akure. In a while, uh, uh, we see what is happening. Even the coaches are also moving. Uh, uh, here in the league, somebody has left after 13 years. We'll look at that. But what is really happening to Sunshine, you know, to MFM, you know, uh, in Lagos? We shall look at that. What is their problem? Um, you know, apart from that one, apart, it's not just on football, football, football. There is also tennis and also Max, uh, Max Verstappen. I tell you this, this is sweet news to, you know, to the ears because here is a guy who has, you know, uh, been on, who has started, you know, 30, uh, 92 races and has never, you know, been on pole. Of course, he has won seven already uh, and also, uh, you know, uh, about 16 times he has, been, he has been there on the podium. But I tell you, to get his first, his first pole in the Hungarian Grand Prix is something very special. You know, so we look at all this. You remember he also won uh, at the German Grand Prix last week against all expectations. Uh, it was rowdy. It was hectic. It was breakdown. It was chaos. It was anything you can think of, but it did happen. At the end of the day, Verstappen, uh, uh, his car, you know, crossed that line first of all, and then he emerged victorious. So we are going to look at all these. We are going to look at all these, and, and I bet you it is going to be uh, a super duper, you know, uh, Sunday. All right, let me, let, me, let, me, let me go straight to the house. And um, let me start here because Obum is back. Obum, how are you? 
Effective community shield is back. Okay. Who is playing? Manchester. Excuse me. Manchester City is taking on Liverpool today. Yeah. It's going to be a cracker. The war of words has already started between Pep and Hogan Club. And we're looking forward to the new footballing season. It's going, it's going to be an excitement all through. Arsenal are showing intent, but like you said um, in the beginning of the show, I wonder why they're not signing defenders. <laughs> I wonder why. Okay. Our attack, their attack is not, is not bad from last season based on statistics and figures. I wonder why Una Emery has not signed a defender this season. I wonder what... I wonder what plan he has. If Arsenal is going to do well this season, and they, they have to do better defensively because last season, the defense was their albatross for last season. Maybe, maybe there is a joker that you know, the guy is trying to sign. I mean, they're still trying to sign the guy from South Tierney and they, they, 25, went for, 25 million. they went in for Rudiger on loan and uh, Juventus turned them down. Then also, there's a bid for Coutinho on loan for two, two years there about for 27 so million. 27 million. That is still on the cards. We don't know how it pans out. Between now and Thursday, a lot to be revealed, but it promises to be an exciting, an exciting season, season based on the transfers. So far, even the smaller teams are building their teams very strong. What is really happening at uh, uh, MFM, the Prayer Warriors? How can Sunshine just pick four of your players at once? Great pleasure to be here. Um, personally, I don't know what's happening at MFM. I feel um, honestly that we are beginning to see that MFM never really treated the football club um, with the business perspective, with the right business perspective, because they never really saw it as um, a football being for business. They saw it more like we need to, um, like an NGO thing. Yes, um, majority of the players, even the coach, is supposed to be unveiled tomorrow. That's Fidelis Ilechuku, um, Kamara. Most of the players have left for him, but some gone to Sunshine Stars. And you begin to ask yourself, where does it happen that you have exodus of players away from a club? What that means so, so, basically is, really right. um, I think for a couple of seasons, there had been a lot that had been wrong. And if you also do remember, there had been a season where, you know, MFM was in contention to outrightly win the league. They came second. And Fidelis Camara, I think, is one. Um, people might feel it doesn't cut controversy, but on the last day, he actually did say that, you know, um, it would do some unthinkable thing if MFM did not win. He apologized later, but I. He said he would resign. He said, "Brother, don't die." You know, because, because he had he, involved, okay. he, Ken, he had he had issues with the no, management. No, 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 no. What, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is, that I'm not. I'm saying about you coloring what he said. He said he will. If he does that, he will resign. Uh -huh. He said, anyway, so let us. Yeah. Yes. He put the statement because Why? I felt at that point in time, you know, because of his request, he was talking about the management actually getting uh, certain players, and if they did, don't do no, that. No, that, I thought that was the premise under which he said yeah, that. No, no, no they, what he, he said, what he, he said, he was ready, he was, he was confident was they were going to win the league. He was talking about his ability, and he said, if we don't win the league, I, let us let us put it straight, I will resign. So that has not been because he was he wasn't having support from the team, yeah. from management. It was about playing in the uh, and there was no TV coverage. It was in 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. There was a particular game they were playing in the north, and he said, you know, let's not go there. Because at the end of the day, it looked like he was going to put the game, you know, by his comments, in disrepute, yes. by stating yes. clearly that we were already suffering from not watching those kind of games on live on TV. Yes. Basic. Yes. But let, what I'm saying is, let's forget whatever issues... Kamara had okay. with the management. He's going to Atlanta. Okay. Let's hope he enjoys his stay there. All right, let's look at because, it. Uh, like we said, what is really happening, uh, Sunshine Stars, they said, you know, uh, while others are crying, others, you know, are, are celebrating. Uh, uh, when they, they, uh, uh, how, do I, uh, uh, how do I put it now? One man's, one man's problem becomes another man's uh, 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 upliftment. So Sunshine Stars, you know, they, they, they came into August and it was so sweet for them, first of August, and they came in with this announcement you know, on their Twitter handle, to welcome four players from MFM. I mean, I, mean, I don't know, because this is, you know, they, they said, you know, we, we, we are, uh, if we can see that, if we can get that tweet from Sunshine, from uh, uh, Sunshine Stats, uh, that is, you know, uh, he said, we Sunshine, yes, how about some Newman, Newman presents? We've secured a deal for the transfer of Chijoki, MFM, TOK, Akuneto, okay, Emiloji Julius, Alatunde Abisoye, and Jonathan Zikie. 
Details follow medical in due course. Welcome, guys. <laughs> you know I mean? They went to supermarket shopping. <laughs> 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 so, some of yeah, okay, so. <laughs> yes. Uh, you have four players coming. What, what happens to the players, players that have been in the team with the team? team. We see the exodus, but for the life of me, majority of these clubs had not settled player allowances, they had not settled salaries. They try to stifle all of this, but it is what is happening in the clubs. Okay. So I will encourage the LMC as much as possible. It's good to hear about player transfers within the, um, you know, the league, but let's just see. Let them do the rightful thing. Their coach, uh, Fidelis Ilichuku, they call him... Uh, uh, the the working one uh, that is 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 left. The after 13 years, I mean, he, he, he he's been. I mean, I think he, no, nobody saw this coming until when he's leaving. Because I mean, that that, that is a record. Uh, if we look at the clubs that have a coach in the last. I don't think we have coaches all over the world uh, when we have a, a, a coach staying for 13 years. We've got the Methuselahs, uh, uh, you know, Wenger. We've yeah, got Ferguson leaving. Uh, uh, then uh, 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 there was, you know, the one that stayed longest. All you can think about uh, the, the man of France, Giroud. You understand? You know, who was I think he, he, from 1961 or so, he started coaching the, you know, the village club, and then was there, and then they got to wherever they got to. So uh, in these modern times, to have a coach, when you look at in the past 13 years, you can look at how many coaches Chelsea have had. Mm. MFM had one coach. So which I maybe in the, by, by next week we shall look at the rate of turnover and tell you that you know this guy has been. Uh, uh, before he left, I think he's been loyal, he's been you know, somebody that said, yes, this is before, there must be a, a good reason. But our fears are for a club like MFM, the club that will not, of course, they go to the grassroots, they get these coaches, and, you know, this guy, Ilichuku, transforms them into stars, fighting for the title, being in Europe, taking them all there, for him to live after 13 years, and then not just the coach, but exodus of players, then we shall look at it. Uh, we don't want, uh, there are a few private clubs in Nigeria, so those ones are, are they want them to thrive, and then, you know, I, I get that fertile ground where others can, you know, go there and uh, I realize their dream. Are we, uh, we, are, we are going? Prediction well, for... Uh, Verstappen, Verstappen most likely will win. Uh, how we okay. Okay, I think we should have a look at our um, transfer, player transfer in the domestic scene. Situation where you have 12 new players, 20 new players, um, <laughs> I think you can't have that. Atlanta, last the cutting razor in the EPL taking off today. Okay. Going to be we, a we, we, who is your winner? I go with Manchester City. Anna, okay, the football season has started. We deliberately didn't talk into about the All Africa games. We shall talk about it when we come back next next week. Stay with us. I'm Ken Ochonogo. Have a blessed one.